what we would all give to have Prime back right now. Welcome back, Autobots, the Decepticons, and everything in between to another Transformers theory. Today's gonna cover why many people believe that General Morshauer appeared in Transformers 2007, despite him being introduced to us in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. And before I start, I want to give a quick plug to my 1.19 Java Minecraft server, play.hatchercraft.com. If you want to have a survival experience like no other, feel free to hop on. More info is in the description below. Now, with that shameless plug out of the way, it's probably best for me to explain to you guys who exactly General Morshauer is. General Glenn Morshauer was introduced to us in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. He was the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States Military, and was the commander of NEST, better known as the Non-Biological Extraterrestrial Species Treaty, which was set up under William Lennox to create a combined human Autobot defense force against Decepticons. During the mission to Shanghai, Morshauer authorized NEST to deploy once he learned that the Chinese had sealed off the airspace around the suspected zone. It did not take long to confirm a Decepticon presence, but said Decepticon started things off with a bang, forcing Sergeant Epps to request for air assistance. Morshauer lowered his head in displeasure as a subordinate authorized gunships to deploy. Later in the film, once visuals came in showing that all hell broke loose in Egypt, Morshauer ordered all available units to the region, thus sparking Operation Firestorm, which was the battle that the Autobots, Nest, and the United States military waged against the Decepticons for possession of the Matrix of Leadership in 2009. In the sequel, Transformers Dark of the Moon, after Senno Prime stole five pillars and used them to teleport hundreds of Decepticons hiding on the moon to Earth, Morshauer was brought in to oversee the human response. He proceeded to run down a list of all the different ways humanity was screwed over. In the follow-up movie Transformers Age of Extinction, Morshauer would not make an appearance, due to Ness being disbanded during the events of Dark of the Moon. However, Morshauer would make an appearance in Transformers of the Last Night, where he would arrange a covert embed operation allowing William Lennox to infiltrate the Transformers reaction force on behalf of the US military. Morshauer would give a briefing on Barricade's meeting with Megatron to Lennox, and later during a meeting at the Pentagon, Morshauer briefed Lennox on the appearance of strange giant alien horns around the globe, and Megatron's kidnapping of two CIA operatives that he wanted to use as bargaining chips in order to get some Decepticons released from captivity. Lastly, Morshauer ordered Lennox to lead the negotiation party with orders to secure whatever weapon Megatron was after. This weapon turned out to be Quintessa's staff. And when it fell into enemy hands, Morshauer authorized Lennox and his team to go to the ignition chamber in order to secure it. But when Lennox and his team got pinned down in a crater, Morshauer contacted them with new orders to tag a location for a nuclear strike and then to bail. And with that said, that concludes General Morshauer's story in the Bayverse. However, now it's time to get into the main focus of the video. That being, if General Morshauer was in Transformers 2007, the character people think is General Morshauer is actually Colonel Sharp. Colonel Sharp was the commanding officer of the Sox and Ford Operations Base in Qatar. He ordered the crew of the MH-53 Pavlo to step out or be met with deadly force. And as we know, he was dumbfounded when the helicopter started to transform into a massive robot. We would later see the Colonel attempting to cut the hard lines with a fire axe in order to prevent Blackout from downloading top secret military data. After this, we never see Sharp again. And the film itself leaves it ambiguous if there were any more survivors of the attack besides Lennox's group. But since we never see him again, it's likely that Sharp died. The reason why so many people think these two characters are one and the same is because they look identical. And that is because they are played by the same actor, that being Glenn Morshauer. Glenn himself was shocked when Michael Bay offered him to star in the Transformers sequel. On May 13th, 2009, IGN reached out to Glenn at the 24 season 7 finale screening about his role in the then upcoming Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Glenn had this to say, You know, I did the first one and a lot of people died and we were part of the team that was killed. But even though a lot of people died, that didn't seem to bother them. They wanted to bring me back. And then Michael Bay said, Well, you'll be playing a completely different character, but don't tell me if you want to do it yet. I'm going to send you the script. He then sent it to me and I looked at the name of the character. The name of the character is Glenn Morshauer. He named the character my name. Bay goes, You don't mind, do you? We think your name is really different, really cool. 
I went, why do I care? It's mine. So I went in and played General Morshauer. So with that said, now you know that Colonel Sharp and General Morshauer are two completely separate characters who are played by the same actor. Now from here, I would like to talk about some fun facts about Colonel Sharp and General Morshauer. In the credits for the Transformers 2007 film, Sharp is credited as Sock Sense Sergeant, despite him being called Colonel Sharp in the film. General Morshauer did not have this problem, since he is credited as General Morshauer in the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, Dark of the Moon, and Last Night Films. Colonel Sharp's name, according to screenwriters Roberto Orki and Alex Kurtzman, is a small homage to the Colonel Sharp character that appeared in the 1983 G.I. Joe miniseries. In the movie adaptation comic for Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, General Morshauer is now Admiral Morshauer, yet he is wearing the uniform of a three-star U.S. general. Despite him looking nothing like his film counterpart, for some reason in issue 4, he suddenly sports a full-blown mustache he did not have in any of the other issues. Lastly, actor Glenn Morshauer reprised his role as General Glenn Morshauer during the grand opening of Transformers of the Ride 3D, where he gave a live scripted speech at the Orlando and Hollywood locations, which of course involved a lot of explosions and fireworks, in addition to having the vehicles of Optimus Prime and Bumblebee present. But hands down, the Orlando grand opening was far more exciting, since the Black Diamond Jet team performed a flyover for the ride. Now, before I end off the video, just for fun, I would like to discuss how I would have rewritten part of Transformers 2000 in order to get rid of all the confusion around Sharp and Morshauer. As we know, the only survivors of the base attack were Lennox and his team. Everyone else at the base was presumed to be dead, since one group was able to make it out. Who's to say that a few others weren't able to escape as well? I would have changed it to have the Colonel make it out alive with some of the men who aided him in cutting the hard lines. Since Sharp was a Colonel in the 07 film, and was able to stop an alien invader from further hacking into the US military database all by himself, I would have added a scene where he would be promoted to a one-star general for his bravery. And between the events of this film and Revenge of the Fallen, he would work his way up to a four-star general. Furthermore, in Revenge of the Fallen, do you think it's odd that Epps and Lennox already have a good relationship with Morshauer? It would make more sense for them to have that relationship with Sharp since he was their colonel. So, I would have changed Morshauer to Sharp in order to make this bond seem more natural, thus fixing all confusion between these two characters because now they're the same. On a side note, if you would like me to do a dedicated rewrite for any of the films, feel free to let me know since I think that would be a fun video idea. And just like that, now you know that it was actually Colonel Sharp who appeared in Transformers 2007 and not General Morshauer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have not already, check out the Fixing Transformers playlist for some more awesome theories. But before I go, I want to say thank you to all my Patreons and channel members for supporting the channel. Without you guys, trans theories would not be where it is today, so a big fat thank you to all of you. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving a like rating because it does help the channel a lot. With that said, hit that outro.